Hi there, all you soon-to-be Hudson Valley homeowners. In this video, I'm going to give you 15 tips to help you through the home buying process. I'm Joel Craig, your guide to Hudson Valley lifestyle and real estate. And I just want to say that uh, now more than ever before, home buyers have more information than ever at their fingertips. Uh, it's a pleasure to work with well-informed home buyers. But in this video, we're going to talk about some things that maybe you haven't thought about. So before you get seriously into the home buying process, you might want to consider these. And so the first one is ignoring your credit. Your credit is going to determine if you're borrowing money, uh, A, whether you can borrow that money, and then B, at what rate. So ignoring your credit could uh, either have you miss out on a mortgage or it could cost you a lot more money in the long run with a higher interest rate. So the first thing you should do is to pull up your credit report and go over it in detail and make sure there's not any incorrect information on there. Uh, make sure there's no uh, former credit things that, are, that never got closed out and uh, look for other ways to increase your credit score because it is critically important, especially if you're getting a mortgage, um, that you have the highest credit score as possible. Second thing is uh, shopping without a buyer's agent. And I did a whole video on this, but the bottom line is this. Uh, if you're not using a buyer's agent, the listing agent does not represent you. They cannot fully represent you. And so to expect them to get you the best deal is just not realistic. It's not going to happen. So I'd strongly encourage you if you're looking for a home to get yourself a good buyer's agent who will represent you and get you the best deal possible. So a third item to think about uh, is shopping with your heart and not your head. Buying a house is a very emotional decision. It can be for some people. And uh, you can get very excited by the process, but you also have to think, take other things other than just the house itself into consideration. Um, like the location, if you're buying way out in the country, how close are you to shopping? Uh, how close are you to major transportation? Um, how's the internet service? That's a big one around, that can, that can be a big one around here. Uh, there are a lot of other things to take into account other than you just, you love the house. So um, you have to think on both hands, uh, your feeling toward the house, but plus the practical end of it. Uh, how practical is it for your lifestyle? And you have to take that into account. And the next tip would be uh, overlooking the total financial cost of owning a house. So yeah, you can figure out what your mortgage is going to be um, and what your monthly payments are going to be, but there are a lot of other things that go into owning a house. Um, for instance, if you have um, city water and sewer, that's going to be a bill. Uh, a really big one in this area is the taxes. They can add hundreds of dollars per month um, to the cost of owning the house. You really have to look at that. Um, and then the general maintenance. What's it going to cost you to mow your grass? What's it going to cost you to plow your driveway? Uh, how much is it going to cost if you have to replace an appliance? Um, don't forget the insurance. So there are a lot more costs that go into it. So when you just look quickly at the price of the house, that's not how much it's going to cost you to live there. And you need to keep that in mind. Another thing I've seen some people do is to sh treat real estate as a short-term investment. Um, you're going to buy a house, you're going to live there a couple years, and then you're going to move on, or you're going to look at other options. But it costs you a lot to get into that house. Closing costs are considerable. And um, if you change houses every few years, you're not recouping those closing costs generally. So you really have to think, how long am I going to be here? Is it worth me buying a house or should I just rent a nice place for a few years? I know that sounds weird coming from a real estate agent, but you really need to think of the big picture and closing costs are quite significant. So if you're not going to be, or if you know you're not going to be in an area for very long, you may want to reconsider your options. Of course, if you're getting a mortgage, the bank is doing going to do an appraisal on the house. And particularly in a market like this, where it's a seller's market, where there's often um, multiple offers on a house, it's easy to get caught up in what I call au like auction syndrome. You go a little bit higher, you go a little bit higher, you finally get that house, you're ecstatic, um, and then you may realize that you've actually overbid on it. And appraisal may bring you down to earth pretty quickly. So 
you really have to keep in mind what is the true value of this house, not just in that moment, but what is the, how's the bank going to look at that house? Is that a good investment for them? Because um, A, you could end up not getting the house because it doesn't appraise, or B, you could end up putting a lot more into it, um, having to come up with a bigger down payment uh, in order to make up for the uh, low appraisal. And another one, this is kind of closely related to the first one we talked about, your credit, is making money mistakes um, either before or during the buying process. Uh, if you go out and you buy that new Tesla while you're in contract for the house, well, guess what? The bank is going to, right before you close, they're going to take another look at your credit. And uh, adding more uh, debt when, while you're in the home buying process could cause you some major problems. So um, when you're serious about looking for a house, try not to make any other major purchases in your life. Uh, try not to do anything that's going to affect your credit uh, until you actually close on the house. And of course it goes without saying, or it should, that you shouldn't skip the inspection. Um, don't bring Uncle Fred the contractor over to look at the house. Um, don't think you know what you're looking at. Uh, you really need a, a licensed inspector to take a good look. Um, yes, they're expensive, but they can definitely give you a heads up on any issues that are going to come up. Um, you may be able to use the inspection report as a negotiating tool to get the price down. Um, they're just, it's worth the money, believe me. Um, so don't skip the inspection. Don't try to rush through things. Make sure you know what you're getting. And then you do have a lot of options when you go to finance. Um, so don't just grab the first mortgage that you see. Uh, it may look good on paper, but really uh, shop around. Um, look at all your options. Um, I don't think you want to go with, say, uh, an adjustable rate mortgage. Um, you want to go with something that you know what the payment is going to be for the life of the mortgage. Uh, make sure that you get the right product for you and for how long you're going to be in the house and for your fin particular financial situation. Um, don't just grab one uh, offline, online. Maybe you'll see uh, one of these online mortgage companies and you just apply there because it's quick and convenient. Uh, actually talk to some mortgage officers who know what they're, what they're doing. And uh, if you can, some local mortgage officers, a lot of times they have a very good handle on the market. And another tip is you need to understand PMI, private mortgage insurance. Uh, if you're putting down less than 20% on the purchase of the house, you're going to be playing PMI. And uh, that can be up to 70 bucks for every 100,000 you borrow per month. So that can add to the cost as well. So you just need, I know putting down uh, a small amount looks good to you, but uh, you need to consider PMI as well. And again, uh, kind of going hand to hand with getting the wrong mortgage is just taking the first mortgage you come across, just looking at the rate or um, just because uh, you know your sister uh, got a mortgage from this place or because again, because it's online and it's convenient just to fill out the form uh, and get your mortgage online. Uh, you really need to shop around. That's gonna be the biggest part of purchasing a house is your mortgage. So you wanna get the best deal you possibly can. And another one, if, especially if you're a first-time home buyer, is uh, not investigating some of the programs for first-time home buyers. There are some really good uh, deals out there um, if you're a first-time home buyer, and there's also some really good education that helps you, uh, and it expands on what we've been talking here um, when it comes to buying a house. It really uh, gets some education, and you may get a better deal on your mortgage. Now, I know when you buy a house, you get this big stack of paper uh, all written in legalese and you have a tendency just to sign off on everything. But you really kind of need to know what you're signing off on. There can be a lot of things in the contract. Um, there can be uh, HOA agreements. And if you don't understand what's in your HOA agreement, um, it can cause you problems later when you go to plant that shrub and find out that you can't, you got to dig it up. Um, so really go over uh, or have explained to you all the documents that you're signing so you understand your commitments. Now, I know we all a lot like to watch HGTV and um, Fixer Uppers is a, a 
popular thing right now. Uh, but you really need to know what you're getting into. I've seen way too many people buy houses that need a lot of work and uh, they don't understand the cost or they don't understand the extent of the work needed. So yeah, it's fun to paint your house. It's fun to move walls around. It's fun to redo the kitchen. But unless you really know what you're getting into, uh, don't necessarily rush into a f getting a fixer upper. And my final uh, tip would be borrowing more money than you need to. I know uh, interest rates are low and you kind of want to get as big a house as you can, the nicest house as you can. And everyone thinks that, oh, in the future, I'm going to be making more money. But if anything uh, in this pandemic year has taught us, it's not always the case. Um, things come up. So you need to be comfortably uh, in the house. Uh, you need to know that you can afford it um, in almost any circumstances. So borrowing away too much is not always the best idea. So I hope you find those tips helpful uh, and I hope you'll subscribe to the channel. We'll be talking about more uh, things about Hudson Valley real estate and of course Hudson Valley lifestyle. Again, my name's Joel Craig. I'm your guide Hudson Valley lifestyle and real estate and I'll see you out there.